Hello everyone, my name is Francois and this is the first video in a series about making a multiplayer game using Ludic Bolt in combination with a Photon Network. And for those who don't know what those uh, plugins are, uh, Bolt is an amazing plugin that allows you to code in C-sharp by using only nodes. And what is cool with it is that you have no limitation. You can do exactly what a programmer, a C sharp programmer, can do. Uh, very cool. And uh, Photon uh, Network is another super nice plugin. Uh, basically, they are using uh, the multiplayer solution from Unity and uh, adding a cool uh, bunch of cool function inside of it and uh, making our life way easier uh, when we are making a multiplayer game. <clears throat> All right, now let's jump into the actual tutorial. First, I already made uh, a project. Right now, it's an empty project with uh, Bolt and Photon already installed inside of it. I'm assuming that you are already uh, a Bolt user and you already know how to install it. Um, right now, I'm using Bolt 1.4 and I'm using a Unity 2018.3. Um, and yeah, have about Photon, uh, you need to install this one here, uh, Photon Unity Network Classic. The reason why it's because it's the one that is working the best with uh, Bolt right now. I already tried the Pond 2, but a couple of things was not working very well. Then now you just need to search it inside the asset store uh, download it and import it. As soon as it's done, you're gonna have a small pop-up inside the window that they will asking you for um, what they call the uh, uh, app ID, a thing like that here. Then to have one, you just need to go inside the Photon website. I will add the link in the description below. And you need to create a new account. As soon as it's done, you just need to go inside your profile profile tab and just click on your application it's gonna send you to this page here and now you will be able to create a new app by doing so you're gonna need to choose the photon type for us it's the fountain pun gonna need to name your server uh, mine will be named uh, bolt multiplayer I'm gonna just click create now you can see that you have your new server here available uh, and you have your app ID there. Just click on it, Control C to copy and go back inside your Unity project and you will be able to paste it inside the small pop-up. If you don't have the pop-up, it's inside the Photon setting file, Photon settings. And here you have your app ID and uh, all the settings that are there are fine they are all, by default they are all great uh, except maybe for the region mine i choose us i think the basic one is uh, european we can just switch it as soon as it's done now we can say that um, our basic installation is done but we still need to link bolt and photon together to do so, we need to go inside the tool tab, inside of Bolt, and go into the unit option wizard. You need to add a small assembly into it. It's called Photon 3 Unity 3D. Just click on the tab here and just tab Photon and you will see it right away. Click on it and click next. Go in the bottom of the list here. And here you need to add couples of new nodes. Uh, you need to add the node groups of Photon Network, the room, room and foe, room options, type lobby, type lobby and foe, and Photon players. Those are all the, no the node groups that you need to make your multiplayer game. As soon as you added it, you just need to click on generate and it's going to create all your new nodes that you will need. On my side, I already did it, and then I don't need to redo it because it's taking a while, probably three or four minutes. Nice. Now the setup is done. Let's jump into creating the game. Now inside our asset folder, I'm going to make a new uh, folder called scripts. Uh, 
Okay. Now that it's done, I'm gonna make a new folder inside of it called Photon. Inside of it, we're gonna make our new uh, bold script. It's gonna be a flow macro. We're gonna call it network connection. We're gonna also make a new empty game object inside of our scene. Can call it the same network solution. We're gonna add a new component uh, flow machine inside of it and add our script into it. <clears throat> now, to connect our player on your uh, on your server, what you need to do is add the node um, Photon, uh, it's, uh, yeah, connect using settings. Uh, they are asking you for a game version. Oh, you can just write 0 0.0.0, .0, it's fine. Uh, after that, you need to have a start, start node. Then as soon as the application is open, um, it's gonna, it's gonna launch the connection using settings. Now, what we need to do is check if our connection was made. Uh, for that, we're gonna need to go inside the Photon website again. And uh, I have a new tab here that is listing all the function that a Photon is using to work. Those are basically the same as custom event in Bolt. Uh, they are triggering event as soon as uh, something is happening inside the server. For example, uh, when uh, you are connecting to the server, uh, this event is triggering, like unconnected to master. The only thing that is sad with, uh, with Bolt right now for us is that those functions here with Photon are only working in C-sharp. Uh, Bolt are not is not supporting it right now. Maybe maybe a community a community node can be made in the future, but for now, uh, we need to make a C-sharp script just to call those, just to receive the call of those function and trigger a custom event in Bolt. It's super easy, you will see. It's, it's just a small bridge between both uh, Photon and, and Bolt. To do, to receive that event, we will need to create a new C-sharp script gonna go here create C sharp script we're gonna call it a net work event we're gonna make a new empty game object as well inside our scene we're gonna call it the same network event we're gonna add our C sharp script into it and just open it we can erase our start and update function. <clears throat> we need to add our uh, um, using Bolt because we gonna trigger a custom event from Bolt. Uh, now, as I said here, we need our function on connected to master here. Then I'm gonna make a public void unconnected to master I'm gonna copy this little thing here paste this one here open it all right now inside of it we're gonna need to create a new custom event then custom event we're gonna trigger it and we're gonna trigger it uh, on this game object and we're gonna call this event uh, the same as the function here on connected to master it's the only things that you need is that that's it for each event that we see uh, right there if you want to use it you just need to add them inside the script it's gonna call on the game object here this event. Then for us, it's, it will be super easy to use. Then I'm gonna copy that function here by that that event name. 
go back to Unity. And now inside our uh, bolt script, I'm going to add a custom event and put the name of the, of the event there. And remember that the event is called on the network event uh, game object. Then we need to reach this game object. To do so, we need to create a new scene variable. I'm going to call it network event. As I did there, I'm going to make a new one. network event, I'm gonna add a new game object in it, and it's this one. Then now we drag it inside our script, link it there. And now as soon as network event receive this custom event, it's gonna be triggered. And now we need to look at it. I'm gonna make a debug uh, message that is going to say um, player is connected to the server. All right. Now, if everything is set up properly, we should just press play and see that event working. Yeah, as we can see there, uh, we receive the event and player is connected to the server. Then we can go a little bit further with that. Uh, what we can do here is uh, connect to the lobby. Um, I prefer to have uh, one lobby for this game here because uh, like basically a lobby is a bucket that is containing all the rooms inside the game. We can have multiple lobby, but this is just only if you want to separate some kind of rooms uh, for this tutorial here we're going to have only one lobby and it's going to be the default one then uh, join a lobby here we have a join a lobby here this is triggering like join lobby default just to be sure I'm going to have the join lobby like that and here we can specify that this is like the default lobby. Then if I adding lobby default, we can get the default lobby because yes, there is a default lobby and we can be sure that we are connecting to the default lobby here. Now, we have an event that is triggering as soon as we are uh, joining a lobby. It's on join lobby, just right there. We're gonna make a new function with that. Public void on join lobby. And we're gonna copy and paste what we did on top there, but just copy here the name of the event and paste it inside our um, trigger event of Bolt. Now that it's done, we can go back in Unity again. Let's it load. All right. Now we can copy those nodes here. Ah, we can copy all those nodes here. And take this name here. And on, when on join lobby is triggered inside our script, we're going to say player is now in the default lobby. That's cool, eh? Let's press play and test it. All right, you can see that it's working. Player is connected to the server. Player is now in the default lobby. Great, that's awesome. This is gonna be it for this first tutorial. I'm gonna make uh, some other tutorial uh, about that things because right now we're only connected to the server, only like joining a lobby. But you can already like have a good kind of uh, way to do all the rest. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect to a room, how to instantiate uh, a player and uh, connect with another player as well to the server and uh, see each other um, moving inside the world. 
All right, then I hope that you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see what you do with that. See ya guys.